Right, today I have for you the Juppy kit, uh, and this is from Kanga, as you can see, it's a sample uh, sent to me by Kanga. Um, let's have a little uh, look inside, and uh, I'll tell you what you get. So, in the box, you get the unit itself, you get a uh, USB to micro USB charging cable, and you get this little tanky here. Uh, you also get a set of spare O-rings, thus, and you get your certificate here that you can check by scratching that it is the real deal. You also get a little book of instructions which are here, and that basically tells you what each of the key presses does here. So let's take out the unit itself. Now this actually takes an 18650 battery which fits in via a magnetic back. Um, I've got one in there already. So it doesn't come with a battery, you do need to provide your own. It will charge via the micro USB on the front. Um, and it will fit other devices, but not huge ones. Something like this, which is the, the Pro Tank, fits quite nicely, um, or a Sub Tank Mini but a crown tank for instance doesn't and that's what caused these little scratches here because as i was just seeing if it would fit it's too wide um, so nothing too huge but the pro tank works quite well i've been using this for about three weeks um, with the pro tank on and i thought i would keep the tank that came with it for showing you so uh, let me just do a zoom in and here you can see We've got the fire button up here, which is a really strange place to put it. It is a really strange place. I would have preferred the front um, or the top, if I'm honest. But the side, I mean, it works. It's very functional. Um, I just think it's a weird place to put the uh, the fire button. Um, but there you go. So there's a battery in and it's charged. Five clicks on, five clicks off. You'll see now it says off. So just five clicks. And we get the Kangatech come up and we are away. Now, as you can see, you're displaying the power here. Then then there's a voltage at the bottom. And then the next one up is the resistance. And that gives you your battery level. Obviously, there's nothing in there at the moment. Um, plus and minus buttons and the micro USB for charging. Now, you can uh, change the orientation of the screen. I'll just power that up. Uh, if you press the plus and minus together, that rotates the display around that way. Um, I don't know why I'd want it around that way, because it won't be a particularly good place to be. Unless, of course, you're holding it really strange. I don't know. It's a bit superfluous to your needs, I think, having that that way around. Um, but there you go. Put it around that way. There's uh, obviously nothing on it at the moment. So what I suggest we do is get the little tank out, which I'm going to do. So the tank basically comes in four sections. You've got your 510 connection with the bottom, followed by your atomizer head. Now this is a 0.2 ohm resistance, um, and you can get spares which fit in the top. I won't take this out right now because I'm going to be using it, but basically you put your cotton around the uh, the coil assembly and push that in. So this section here is not replaceable, but the middle section is. And that just screws on. There's an O-ring there to stop any uh, seepage into the bottom section. So we'll put that on. I'm trying to keep it in shot as I'm looking at it. <laughs> And it's not easy. There we go. And just as tight as hand tight, I would say. You don't want to do anything too grim with that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime this before I fill it up with juice. And I've got some uh, strawberry rice crispy treats here that I picked up at Vapefest. Uh, six milligram. I like the uh, the other version, so I thought, why not? We'll give this a go. So I'm just going to prime this coil. It'll make it a lot easier 
when it comes to uh, vaping on it. Uh, another little bit there. There you go. We're going to put that back on. Thus. And now we can fill. So I'm just going to fill this to the top of that section. That's close enough for Jazz, I think. Uh, and then put the top section back on. And we are primed and ready to go. So let's put it on the device and see what happens. So I have my tank here. It's fullish and I've let it soak in. I've got this set at uh, 40 watts at the moment and you can see, should be able to see, it says uh, 0.23. So it's not too far out to what it says on the actual atomizer itself. Um, let's give it a little go. Tastes to me a little bit too hot. So I'm going to uh, take this down to 30 watts. 30 watts. Quite pleasant that. Uh, <laughs> uh, this should be a good time also to uh, fill you in on the rest of the um, things that this can do because I've got, now I've got an atomizer on, it's a lot easier. Um, on your fire button, you've got some choices. Five clicks, turn it on. Five clicks, turn it off. Three clicks, cycles round the menu. And you can see there that that is uh, NI. And you've got TI. You've got stainless steel. And you've got nichrome. And your temperature, plus and minus, all the way up to 600 in the Fahrenheit scale. And then it will scan round and start at 100 degrees C. You can take that all the way in five degree increments. And this will take you all the way up to 300. And then scans round back to Fahrenheit. Uh, and my preferred temperature is 480 degrees uh, and it goes up in tens in Fahrenheit and it goes up in fives in centigrade. So now we're looking at, uh, that's a, an NC, so there you go, that's in NI. Now, like the other Kanga products I've shown you recently, when you're in temperature control mode, you're at 75 watts uh, and all you're changing is the temperature. If you're in wattage mode you can go up to 75 watts and down to 7 watts. So 7 to 75 you can't see with my big fingers in the way can you? There you go. 70 75 or 75 watts and then change the temperature so I'm going to try this in uh, NI at 480 and see if it um, if it works I'm not sure if this is a temperature controlled coil or not and uh, doesn't say But it seems to work quite nicely, so it could well be, because <laughs> that is definitely a different taste to having it in um, wattage only mode. So that's a bit of a quick and dirty really. I've been using the device, like I said, for about three weeks. I like the device, as long as the uh, tank you've got fits fine. Um, it's nice and small. Um, the tank, however, I need to spend a little bit more time using. Um, I'll use it until the coil goes, uh, and then um, I can have a better, a better kind of look 
uh, at uh, if I like it or not. Um, it, t it seems to be okay for now. What I don't like is the short tip um, quite close to the tank. But at least it's not metal because that might get a bit hot. Um, but size wise, as you can see in my big hands, it is quite diddy. Uh, if you compare it to, for instance, a Rillo, it's about the same length, but it's a lot, lot thinner because it's only using one battery. So it does have that benefit. Um, and like I said, you can charge via the micro USB, which is also very handy. So you don't have to have a battery charger, um, unless, of course, that goes a little bit weird. Uh, which has done on another device that I purchased for Mrs. VB um, and it will no longer charge anymore but this one I charged this morning via the micro USB yeah so there you go the Kangatech Juppie with the tank